Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations to all you hopeful like Aki and pushing out this word in sincerity and in truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincere Shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf, listening and learning and preparing yourselves here in these last days. And to the entire household of faith, fighting this good fight of faith, I want to say Shalom. This is your brother Duquar from the DC camp. Come back at you with another lesson. And I'm entitled to this one, They Shall Be Greatly Commended. All right, that they being the elect, the elect of the elect. You know, because ultimately the elect nation is Israel, but there's an Israel of the most high, you know, that's going to be, that's slated to be saved in these last days, whose names are written in the book, you know, and, um, these people, you know, whoever they may be in the world, Lord will, we believe that it's, that, that it's us, you know. You know, but there's going to be 144,000 men and, um, you know, uh, one third of a woman and children that's going to be saved, man. You know, um, but it says, um, I'm going to read the quote and then I'll read, um, you know, the scripture where that came from and get a few more scriptures and a little willing it may be edifying. Um, but this quote was from Ralph Waldo Emerson. It says to be yourself. In a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. All right. And um, that's what we're going through, man. You know, we've been we've fallen in, into these chains of darkness in the flesh, you know, and now we here <laughs> in the flesh and have to operate uh, amongst this world. You know, but if we succeed and we um, endure until the end. And keep ourselves unspotted, then we're going to be greatly commended. You see? So I always think about that when I um, read the scripture. In fact, uh, what's that? First Peter. First Peter. One and 12. Let me see. Um, hold up. Because the scriptures mention angels. Yeah, first. Uh, I literally just got that, but whatever. <laughs> this is uh, 1 Peter 1. Verse uh, 6. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Because mind you, we going through these different tests to see if we're going to pass this, this, um, this test, this trial so that we can get that crown and that's going to be that accomplishment. It says, um, that the trial of your faith, cause that's what it is being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Hamashiach Yahushai or Yahushai Hamashiach now. Remember, at the appearing of Yahweh Shai, when he comes, that's when we're going to receive them crowns, if we be those men. It says, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though ye, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. And that's another thing, man. You know, we got to... That faith, man, we, we, although we don't see the Lord, we walking after... We walking... Uh, 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 with the Lord, you know, we carrying our cross, we being disciples, uh, we following after him so that we may be worthy of him, man. Meanwhile, the rest of the world, the what they going through the, the, the wide gate, man, which I'm gonna get, you know, it says, uh, receiving verse nine, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. This is, we got to always keep our eyes on the, the prize, man. You know? Which is the salvation of our souls, man. The crown. It says, of which salvation, the 
the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Yeah, which one of us is going to get, you know, being up? Who going, you know, when is these things going to happen? You know, uh, inquiring about that, 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 whose names is written in the book, right? It says, uh, where, where is it? Right. Verse 11, searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach, which is in them, did signify <clears throat> when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that should follow unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you. With the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Now, I always think about that scripture where it says, which things the angels desire to look into. Now, um, it's just us being in this flesh, man, in this battle, because the, the intention, I mean, we do have a better position to understand the mysteries of, of, of redemption. You know, not only uh, uh, of the angels, but of, of the prophets that came before us because of where we're at right now. You know, straight up uh, being dealt with through the spirit. Like like I said earlier, <laughs> you know, we don't see the little bodily eyes, but we believe them. You know, it says. Uh, let me keep going on this. Um, this is a Bible commentary. Um. It says, uh, here, you hear then the intention is not to show that we are in a better position to understand the mysteries of redemption, not only than prophets, but also than angels. And they covet to stoop from where their own point of view to ours, stoop from their own point of view to ours. And why so? Not because of the inherent mysteriousness of the union of the two natures in Hamashiach, for of that they are as intelligent as we, or more so. But because they are incapable of fully understanding human nature, flesh and blood, with its temptations and pains, it is it is need of a savior, you know? So they don't really understand that. So they they they, they desire to they, they can't see it from our point of view, man. You know? And this is why it's going to be the greatest accomplishment. Now, I, I chose this picture because it's, you got the, the tree and the fruit, you know, and that can represent the different temptations. And we all around it, man. You know, oh, it's all around us. Now, Yahweh shot, I believe, is uh, the John, the 17th chapter. Remember, he prayed for us not to get taken out of the world. Let me see. John 17, verse 15. I pray that thou shouldest take them out of the world. So I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world, man. You know? Yeah, the Lord chose us out of this world. That's why we... and But this world is constantly trying to, to make us be of this world and we have to, to to go through the straight gate as it says um fuck. so like yeah all right <sighs> yeah this is matthew 7 verse 13 it says enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because the straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And there be few that find it. And that's what makes it even better, man. Because this is the path least followed. That's why it's going to be a great accomplishment. Many people, they, they follow the multitude to do evil. You know? They easily conform. Which I did uh, a video prior on um, fear not their imaginations against thee, because they don't they won't want you to conform to the, the ways of this world, you know. 
But for us, it's not so. Okay? This is a uh, second address, uh, two verse 35, going back into the scripture that I, uh, seen, you know, the title of the video, it says, be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you evermore. Flee the shadow of this world. See, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my savior openly. Now you're not going to sit up here and, um, be able to have both things of the world. You can't have the world and have Hamashiach. You know, if you if you can't serve uh, the Lord and Mammon, you know, so you can't. You, you got it's one or the other, man. You know. So when it says to be yourself, we talking about to to be yourself, walk with the Lord, to 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 have integrity. You know, remain true. And, and although this whole world is trying to change you into something else, but that's where the prize comes in. And it's going to say it. Verse 37, second, just two verse 37 it says, oh, receive the gift. See that you're going to be rewarded that is given you and be glad giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. It says, a rise up and stand. Behold the number of those that are still in the feast of the Lord. And we're going to be able to eat with the Lord, man. <laughs> Imagine being crowned and we're able to the, the, the feast with the Lord. He's, able to, he's going to drink again, you know, at his father's table in the kingdom, you know. <laughs> That's what this thing is about. It says, a rise up. And stand, behold, the number of those sealed into the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of this world, of the world, and have received glorious garments of the Lord. So you have to depart from the shadows of this world, the, 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 um, the covering or control of this world, man. It says, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see? Keeping his commandments, man. Uh, following him, you fulfill the law of the Lord. It says, the number of the children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Edra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted. Which I marveled at greatly. It says, So I asked, and that's your Hawashi, you know, crowning us. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and receive songs. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms? Psalms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. See, that they shall be greatly commended. That stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And why do you are why are we gonna have to stand stiffly? Because here it is, this world is is working to, to cross, they spiritually crucify the Lord, man. They want to cross out the Lord. And we got to stand up and be that, that light in the midst of this darkness, man. You know? The, the, the family of the word is going to come on. Why you think that? Because they're going to demonize the word of the Lord. But that's the, what this thing is about. Now, commend means praise formally or officially. Present as suitable for approval or acceptance. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the, the Lord... You know, he's speaking on our behalf to 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 Yahweh Himself, the Most High. It says them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. It says, then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord, thy power, thou hast seen. 
Yeah, what does scripture say that uh, if we uh, keep his word, then he will also keep us from the hour of temptation, man. That's about uh, uh, testifying of the Lord, not being ashamed of the Lord in this wicked and adulterous generation. Now, and just following after him, it also says that in Matthew's, let me get that, the 19th chapter. What are we going to receive, man? It says the disciples reward. <laughs> Matthew 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? You see, so you kind of got to like make a separation, man. Between this world and, and the Lord. You can't, you can't do both. But it's amazing. What it even um, Lot said he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. It's amazing. What we're doing is a beautiful uh, work. The Lord knows that we are but a, a flesh. <laughs> you know? That how we're being tempted. tempted, But it's there to certify us. But let me keep going. It said, we forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, that's it, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, ye shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. So, you know, sometimes, hey, Sometimes those your family members and these things can be things that tempt you, man. You know, that that's a part of the world that's constantly trying to get you to be something else. You know, they don't under hey, and especially in this time, they don't understand the, the, the they don't know the Lord like like we know the Lord. You know, so they constantly want you to do things of this world, but you have to hey make sure you know what the, what's pleasing to the Lord. You know. Um, this is Re Revelation 3 verse 8 It says I know thy works Behold I have set thee an open door And no man can shut it For thou hast had For thou hast a little strength And hast kept my word And has not denied my name See that little strength man That's us being in the flesh But we through that Have not kept his word man I mean uh, Salaki Have not denied We have kept his word And has not denied his name you know, it would be easier if the, I mean, of course, if, if things were more suitable, <laughs> if our, our environment was more suitable, man, it would be easier to live a, a, a spiritual life, you know, but, but that's the whole test, you know, it is a, perplex, a perplexing situation that we're in, man. But but it's possible to to live under these circumstances and still serve the Lord, man. And we're gonna be rewarded for that. Oh, that made me think of this. Well doing. I don't know if it's like a dash. Um. Yeah, this is Galatians six verse uh six verse nine. It says, "And let us." Not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. You know. So going back to uh, Revelation, we has little strength and has kept his word, man. You didn't faint not. All right, this is how we supposed to be. James one and twenty six says, "If any man among you seem to be religious and bright of not his tongue, but deceive his own heart, that man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled." Before the Most High and the Father, before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction. And that's what we do, you know, when we constantly edifying. And it says, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Remember, the cares of this world can choke out the word. You know, so we got to flee the shadow of this world, man. That's the only way. <laughs> you 
We got to believe that he's a rewarder of them that, that, that diligently seek him, man. He chose us out of the world, man. And that's why this world is going to hate us, man. Because it, it, this, this world has none of him. You know, this world, this is not the Lord's world. This world is, uh, is controlled by the wicked. So it only makes sense. You know? But it says, uh, oh, even we was in the wilderness, you know? Let me get this real quick. Deuteronomy 8th chapter. It says, and thou shalt remember all the way which Yahweh thy power had led thee, so like led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Now, what did we say? That they, they fulfilled the law. You know? Where was that scripture? trying to think of where I've just seen that. Dang. I just had it. Yeah. No, I was second. I just 2 and 40. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up th those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see? And um, so the Lord wants to see if we're going to be able to keep, keep, uh, keep his commandments or no. Now, in the letter, letters of Jeremiah, the first chapter, it says a copy of an epistle which Jeremy or Jeremiah sent unto them, which, which were to be led captives in Babylon by the king of Babylon to certify them as it was commanded a, a hymn of God. Now, when you look up that word certified, that's Babylon. Because we are in Babylon, you know, we are in the, <laughs> sort of a wilderness, man, wandering, you know, since we woke up. Our word certified says attest or confirm in a formal statement, verify or credit, you know, are we those men or not? Because the ones that's, that's for the Lord, they're going to they gonna keep themselves unspotted, you know? They put off the mortal clothing. It says that, uh, and oh, it also said that he said, open the door that no man can shut because we all belong to the Lord and he gave us to Yahweh Shai. You know? He said in John, also in John the 17th chapter, I manifested thy name unto them that, that, that thou gavest them to him. And that what? That they have kept his word, man. This is what this is, thing is about. Because when you keeping the Lord's word, that comes with actions, man. Despite the world try, tr trying to make you f feel otherwise, man. Still constantly trying to get you to celebrate these, these wicked, uh, unholy days, man. You know? Still want you to care about the things of this world. We care about the things that, 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 that the Lord cares about, man. You know? But I'm not going to make this lesson too long. I'm about to grab one more verse and I'm going to close. Um, but this is what Peter said to the elect exiles. This is um, 1 Peter. 2nd mm, chapter. Um, 9. Yeah, I'm going to get straight to the point. This is 2 Peter 2, verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You see? So he called us to show forth his praises. He called us out of darkness, man. So we're not going to go back into the darkness. <laughs> you know, the Lord chose us and ordained us, man, that we're going to bear fruit. And that's what we got to do. You know, we belong to the Lord. So, hey, Lord willing, that was edifying to the next lesson. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rukha HaKodash. 
Now I want to say, Shalom.